Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to use the SUMIF function in your Excel spreadsheet. In this uh, table here, we have information about uh, all the US colleges, the states they belong to, whether they're public or private, and a bunch of other numerical information. Now, what we want to do is to pull out the full-time undergraduate student population numbers for only certain states. Okay, so for the states of Texas, California, and New York, we want to find out the total full-time undergraduate population. Now, as you can see, this is a huge table. Okay, it's got um, 1,300 or so records, right? And it'll be painful to actually physically pull out every individual uh, record that belongs to the state of Texas or California and total them up. But fortunately, Excel offers the SUMIF function, which is designed exactly for this problem. To get started, click on the function, insert function button, and find the SUMIF function in math and trigonometry. Click this. And within this, if you scroll to the bottom, you can see the sum, SUMIF function. Click OK. And the first choice you need to give is a range. The range here should be the range of all the states, okay? Because that's going to be our uh, range in which we will search for Texas or California or NY. So click on the first state. And now, since there are a lot of records, what I suggest is after you see this uh, blinking border on the first state, scroll all the way down to the bottom and press shift and click on the last record. And when you do that, the entire range will be selected and that will help you avoid painful scrolling down. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is to click this button again. And now criteria. Criteria should be you can just enter TX. Now you should enter this within quotes, double quotes, but if you don't, then Excel will automatically put the, the double quotes for you. Finally, you need to specify the sum range. What is the range of cells that you need to be summed up or added? And that in this case is the full-time undergraduate cells in the column L so again, click on the first one and scroll all the way down and now press shift and click the last cell in the L column again and the entire range is selected for you. And now you can click, go back here. Now before we complete, I just want to point out one thing that at this point the formula works. If you click OK, it works, right? But what you need to do is uh, Next, we are going to copy this formula to the next two cells here because we want to find out the total undergraduate population for California and New York. And when we copy this formula to the next two cells, B8 to B1309 will become B9 to B1310 and B10 to B1311. And that's because of the relative cell referencing feature of Excel. To avoid that, you should just change this to uh, select this entire range and press the F4 button on your computer or you can manually type in the dollar signs before the B and the 8 and the B and the 1309. And you can do the same thing here. You can manually type in the dollar signs before them or you can press the F4 button. So Excel will automatically add the dollar signs for you. Click OK. And now you can double click on this fill handle on the right here and Excel will copy the formula for you. And after it copies the formula, just change this to CA and just change this to NY. Be sure to preserve the quotes surrounding this because this is a text and so it should be surrounded within quotes. If not, you will get an error and click OK. And there you have the total enrollment for full-time undergraduate students in Texas, California, and New York. And that's how you would use the SUMIF function. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and please check out more videos on codable.com.